Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to construct a seesaw using Curio Mini parts. Let's proceed to step one. In step one, we will have one C plate, one L plate, and we'll connect it using two nuts and bolts. So L plate is standing, C plate is sleeping here. Then we will attach one 1.5 inch bolt and nut here tightly secure it here then we'll also attach one dc motor with motor shaft observe the position of the motor shaft it is coming out of this vertical slit we'll also connect one flat rotator using one 0.5 inch bolt and nut so flat rotator gives us a hole here and this hole will be used to mount the axle of a gear in our next steps let's go to step 2 in step 2 we will take one big gear connect it with one one inch bolt and nut tightly secured on top of it we'll put one spacer and one shaft lock now this gear we are going to mount on the assembly which we created last there we'll use one small axle the axle will pass through the hole which we created using flat rotator in last step and we will connect one shaft lock behind and one shaft lock in front here then we will also connect one medium gear and connect it with a shaft lock we will place three spacers onto this 1.5 inch bolt we had attached in our last step now let's move to step 3. Here we are going to connect the push pull assembly of our seesaw using one single bar. We'll connect one flat rotator here. Now observe the position. This hole is on to the left end of this slit. And accordingly, we'll have to connect the 0.5 inch bolt and nut on this side. We'll connect one more flat rotator on this side in this flat rotator we have connected this 0.5 inch bolt at this place and the hole which is available through that hole we are going to put one one inch bolt right now it is not connected it is just placed there this we will call assembly a let's go to step four in step four we will take one c plate and we'll connect one flat rotator using one 0.5 inch bolt and nut such that this hole is at the center of this slit observe which side these three holes are and which side the slit is that is important we'll call this as assembly b let's move to step 5 in step 5 we'll connect assembly a to the one inch bolt which was attached to this gear using a nut and that is loosely coupled because this has to allow push pull rod to move hence it is coupled loosely then we'll take assembly b and we'll mount it on that 1.5 inch bolt with these three spacers and that will go through the hole which we had created in the c plate at the center using a flat rotator and we'll connect it using one nut loosely coupled and the nut is from inside the c plate here there was one inch bolt which was freely available on this push pull rod that will be inserted through the hole of the c plate from rear side and will be connected using a nut again loosely coupled from inside the c plate and that completes our seesaw for a decoration purpose you can attach one L connector at this end, one L connector at this end, indicating that those are the seats of the seesaw. I'm sure you will love to operate this robot. Do let us know your experiences through the comments below the video. We'll come back with another video shortly. Bye bye.